Acute cardiac injury, or ACI, is a common complication of COVID-19 disease. Patients who have ACI are likely to do a lot worse than those without, including more severe illness and higher mortality rate. We therefore undertook the study to investigate the incidence of ACI in COVID patients and to determine whether or not ACI persists longer term. So we used a retrospective study method where we review over 11,000 hospitalized COVID patients in the Montefiore Health System from March 2020 to June 2021. The definition of acute cardiac injury is based on elevated troponin. Troponin is a molecule that is found in the muscle of the heart. Normally, troponin stay in the heart and is not found in the bloodstream. However, if there's a cardiac injury or heart injury, troponin leaks out into the bloodstream, which becomes detectable by doing blood tests. Our paper is published in the Journal of E-Biomedicine of Lancet. Our major findings are as follow. Approximately 40% of hospitalized COVID-19 patients developed ACI. Of those, 93% developed within 24 hours of hospitalization. So the heart is being damaged very early on during COVID. Patients with ACI are four and a half times more likely to die than those without. And this is significant. What we found that was surprising is that more than 50% of the patients who have ACI continue to have cardiac injury two and a half months after hospital discharge. The last major finding is that the mathematical model that we developed using data at discharge were able to predict whether the patient were likely to recover from ACI with an accuracy on the order of 70%. Our studies suggest that COVID-19 patients should be routinely screened for potential acute cardiac injury and follow-up study so that they can receive the care they need to prevent long-term complications associated with heart injury. We are studying all major organs, which include the brain, the heart, the lung, the liver, and the kidney. The evidence from our lab, as well as others, uh, suggests that uh, long COVID will be at least medium term and likely long term. But again, this is still not known or not clear yet, and uh, prospective study and additional studies are needed to answer those questions.